Milo. Listen to your grandma. I want you to come with me right now. We can't wait for your parents. This is happening everywhere. Pirates, looks like several bands, maybe more. They won't leave with me. Hey, Sugar Pop, message incoming from the Terran Regional Representative. Tell the representative that I'm retired. The last thing I want to do is deal with a stuffed shirt. And, uh, don't call me Sugar Pop. Right. Oh, wise and powerful maker of universes. Listen, this call is coded emergency. Maybe we shouldn't just put her off. The trouble with stuffed shirts is that when they blow up, they make a terrible mess. Put the representative through. Mr. Corda. I know you are retired, but we need you to deal with a very sensitive, very secret matter. Why bother me? Surely you have people on your own staff who can deal with this... whatever it is. You are the ranking human specialist in both terraforming and the creation of pocket universes. You are the only person who may be able to solve a problem that could, without exaggeration, threaten the continued existence of hundreds of thousands of sentient beings. Please, continue. Within the last half year, two privately owned pocket universes, Herbs and Orange, have been shut down. Time, effectively, has ceased to function within them. We need you to restart the universes and find out who is responsible for these atrocities. Although you will be working for the old Terran government, we prefer not to admit to interfering with private universes. You would be on your own. That's a pretty tall order. You realize that the key for each pocket universe is a carefully hidden secret known only to the universe's designer. We do know. That's why we need the best. Are you saying that you cannot do what someone else already has? If it is any comfort, there will be a large fee. I'm trying to get my goat, lady? The fee doesn't matter. Not much, at least. I'll admit, I'm interested in this from a professional point of view. Is there anything you can tell me to get me started? Our research shows that the designer of herbs is named Charlie Bell. We have a contact number. You may wish to call him and see if he can give you a clue to the key of herbs. We can supply you with the coordinates for herbs and orange. Beyond that, you're on your own. You know, I haven't seen Charlie in centuries. Yeah, maybe I'll check with him. Remember, 
You will need a supply of bottled time to function in stasis. I do know my job. I have some on board. Can I, uh, draw on your account for supplies to get started? Within reason. Does this mean you're on the job? Write up a contract. And, though I may be doing this because I want to know who's good enough to turn off universes, don't forget the zeros in the paycheck. Thank you, Mr. Corda. Contract will be forwarded. She's gone, Sugar Bob. Don't call me that. Corda? Renee Corda? It's been ages. How have you been? Pretty well, all things considered. Been living quiet since I retired, but uh, now I'm onto something rather fascinating. I picked up an odd bit of work. It has to do with a couple of pocket universes that have been put into stasis without the owner's authorization. You designed one of them. A place called Herbs. Yeah, I designed Herbs. Can't tell you who for, though. Professional ethics, right, old buddy? Did anyone come to talk to you about your work? say, within the last year? No, no one. And even if anyone did, I wouldn't say a thing. I remember the terms of my contract and the ethics of my profession. Easy, man. I'm not trying to get you barred from the union. Uh, listen, is there anything at all you can tell me that might help? Well, since you're dealing with a universe in stasis, you're going to need bottled time. Brush up on its limitations. There are some tricky aspects, especially if the universe was fully functional when it was thrown into stasis. Thanks. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, uh, one more thing. The other universe that's been turned off is called Orens. You know anything about it? Actually, I do. The designer was an alien named Nizam Rokhtar. Do you know her? No, no. Can you uh, tell me anything about it? Not much. She's good at what she does. A bit vain, I've heard, but then aren't we all? <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. I'll uh, let you know how it turns out. Jester, my sweet. See if you can find me a contact number for an alien named Nizam Rokhtar. I'm on it. Hey, do you really think I'm sweet? Yes, yes, what do you want? I'm a busy artiste. Universe is awake my awakening touch. Honorable Nizam Rakhtar, I am Renee Corda. Charlie Bell suggested that I call you. Renee Corda, I have heard of you. Before you retired, you set some jewels in the heavens. But why does Charlie Bell wish you to trouble me? I have nothing in common with him beyond our mutual profession. I am researching a difficult situation. Two universes, Herbs and Orms, have been put into unauthorized stasis. Charlie says you designed Orange. Anything you can tell me may help to reactivate the universe and find the criminal responsible. Truly, I would not deny one of my children, but Orange is in the care of her new owner. I have nothing to say about my desert child. <laughs>